Welcome to the PAC Football Report, covering games on October 7th, 2023. I'm Joe Underko. This week we will take a look back at Week 5 football games in the President's Athletic Conference, while also previewing Week 6 gridiron action this Saturday. The Battle of PAC Unbeatens lived up to the hype last weekend as Grove City took over sole possession of first place via a 31-24 home win over Washington and Jefferson. Carnegie Mellon and Case Western Reserve tied WJ for second place with impressive road wins as the Tartans won a 19-3 defensive battle at Allegheny and the Spartans broke open a close game at half to win 34-12 at Bethany. In other action, Teal made its homecoming crowd happy by edging winless Waynesburg 15-14. Finally, St. Vincent overcame an early deficit to win 28-19 under the lights at Geneva. Westminster had the weekend off. PAC Player of the Week honors for Week 5 went to Grove City senior wideout Scott Frazier on offense, senior defensive end Max Pizzula of St. Vincent on defense, and sophomore kicker Caleb Keekley of Grove City on special teams. Earning PAC Newcomer of the Week honors was Teal freshman quarterback Joseph Fell. Week 6 again features five league contests, while Waynesburg has the weekend off. Coming off two straight wins, 2-2 two two St. Vincent returns home to Chuck Knoll Field in Latrobe to host 3-1 Case Western Reserve at 1 p.m. The Spartans lead the all-time series against the Bearcats 7-2, including posting a 45-21 victory in Cleveland a year ago. But St. Vincent won the last game in Latrobe, capturing a 42-40 shootout win two years ago. Bearcat head coach Aaron Smetanka talks about the keys to his team overcoming an early two-score deficit to win at Geneva last week. Um, dealing with yeah, being down 14 and nothing from the start, being able to hey still stay cool, calm, collected on the sidelines. Um, there wasn't the real down atmosphere where guys are just completely dead silent. Um, the guys were still talking, communicating back and forth. So understanding, hey, we, we got a lot of time left in this game right now. Two and three Allegheny continues its run of games against league powers as the Gators travel to Washington to face four and one W and J for the president's annual homecoming game at 2 p.m. It's the 44th all-time meeting in a series narrowly led by W&J 22-20-1. Last year, the Presidents rolled to a 56-0 halftime lead before prevailing 66-14. Allegheny first-year head coach Braden Lair knows his team will have its hands full Saturday, but expects them to be competitive to the final whistle. There are the teams that are you know, right above us in, in the conference, and that's kind of the immediate next step for us to elevate our football program. We talked about it before Carnegie Mellon. You know, This is a chance for us to show that we can arrive ahead of schedule. After two straight road games, 4-1 Carnegie Mellon returns home to Gessling Stadium for a 7 p.m. kickoff against 2-3 Teal under the lights in Pittsburgh. The teams are meeting on the gridiron for the 49th time in a series dominated by CMU which has won seven straight against the Tomcats, with the last Teal victory in the series being a 40-27 win in 2014. Tartan head coach Ryan Larson notes that the Tomcats, with two wins already under their belt, are a greatly improved squad in 2023. Yeah, I think what really jumps off the, the page immediately at you is, you know, obviously the two wins, but then even in some of the losses, they're closer losses and they're competitive across the board. Um, you know, I know they've had two two bigger losses, um, but they're they're playing a lot better ball, and, and and Sam and his his crew are doing a great job. Other Week Six games include five and zero Grove City hitting the road to face longtime Presbyterian rival one and three Geneva for the GT's homecoming game at Reeves Field in Beaver Falls at 3 p.m. It's the 88th all-time meeting between the programs in a series which began in 1893. Last season, Grove City posted a 55-17 win over the Golden Tornadoes. Finally, 2-2 two two Westminster returns from its bye week to host 0-4 Bethany at Haroldbury Stadium in New Wilmington at 1 p.m. The Titans recorded a 42-3 final against the Bison a year ago. That's all for this edition of the PAC Football Report. Please log on to the conference website at www.pacathletics.org all season long for the latest news, scores, statistics, and other league information. You can follow us on social media via Facebook, X formerly known as Twitter, and Instagram. Links are available at the PAC website. I'm Joe Anderko. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the stadium.